criminals. But for me, the big lie that everyone, especially the mainstream media, seems so willing to overlook is happening right in front of our eyes in college basketball. Every year, we collectively pretend that Gonzaga University is a real place. <laughs> And not just a ruse cooked up to win NCAA games. I've been trying to get this out there with the media, especially the local media up in Spokane, Washington, where the school allegedly exists. They just keep pushing back. The cloud covered parts to reveal a remote mountain valley where the magical, fictional Gonzaga University <laughs> is fabled to exist. So silly, right? Does Gonzaga really exist? A long-running joke with Jimmy Kimmel. Of course, we know it does, right in the heart of downtown Spokane. The city has even offered to fly Kimmel from his L.A. studio to Spokane to prove that there is no fake school that just appears for the NCAA tournament. I think he needs to take us up on that offer. Well, I will say, first of all, no one, to my knowledge, has ever offered to fly me to this imaginary place ever. <laughs> Nor have they offered to fly me to, to Narnia, to uh, Wakanda, and, or to Gonzaga. This is a fake place, and that is fake news, and this is fake news, too. Gonzaga, of course, has some very famous alumni, including singer Bing Crosby, who we all know, and former Governor Christine Gregoire, and the first female Washington State Attorney General. Right, right. Bing Crosby, Santa's friend, he's imaginary, too. <laughs> And is dead, by the way. And former Governor Christine Gregoire. Do yourself a favor right now. Google former Governor Christine Gregoire. You know what comes up? Nothing. <laughs> not, it says page not found. <laughs> anyway, Gonzaga tomorrow is playing our local team, UCLA, in the Sweet 16. So we're going to keep a very close eye on that and on them. And we will not let this story die. We really won't. We will beat it to death. Is what we'll do. It's